great to be back here with you. Uh, to President uh, Binu, thank you for the invitation. Uh, and to my old friend Thomas Curian, who let me know about this event, uh, he sent me a Facebook message and he said, you have to come and see your friends in Hamilton. And these days I don't get out of Brampton very often, but I remember being here uh, for your summer celebrations. Uh, and you have such a dynamic Malali community here. Uh, I fell in love with the Malali culture going to events across uh, Canada, but I, my favorite memory of the Malali community was traveling throughout Kerala with uh, Thomas and, and Jobson. Uh, Thomas showed me the best spots in Kerala, uh, and once you go to Kerala, it's always in your heart, right? Once you go to Kerala, you dream of going back to Kerala. Uh, and I have to say, uh, whether it was uh, Trivandrum or Kochi or the backwaters, the Nalipi, it really is one of the special places in the world. And uh, when I heard you're building a cricket pitch, I also wanted to come and say congratulations on that. Uh, I know you've always had big aspirations and big dreams here at this property. And the fact that that is progressing, I wanted to say congratulations. We're actually working on something similar in Brampton. We're building a world-class cricket stadium, the first uh, in Canada. And this summer, we hosted the GT20. So there's any cricket fans there. We had some of the biggest cricket players in the world this summer in, in Brampton. And a number of the players were staying in Brampton for about two weeks. And one of the famous Indian cricketers, uh, Yuvraj Singh, I, I asked him, how have you enjoyed spending time in Brampton and Canada? And he says, being in Canada feels like I'm at home. Being in Canada feels like I'm at home. Now, he came to Canada in July. Be, he'd probably feel a little bit different in January. But I think what he meant was that feeling of welcoming, that sense of diversity, that pride of diversity. And I thought, what a beautiful thing to say about the country that you're visiting. Um, I also want to let you know that although I don't get to see you as often anymore, uh, the Malali community uh, in Brampton is actually doing great things too. So I do get a, uh, an ongoing uh, flavor of the Malali spirit in Brampton. This summer we hosted boat races in our lake in, in, in downtown Brampton. Traditional long boat Malali boat races. Uh, and uh, I even had to practice for one of those boat races. So it was a blast. So if you, if you uh, have, if you have uh, friends uh, in, in Brampton and you want to visit them next summer, we'll get, that's an annual event, so you can always come and join us for, for the boat races. Uh, and uh, if I can ever be of assistance, know that I'm uh, only a phone call away uh, when you've got great members of your family here like Thomas. Uh, if you ever have any fundraisers, I know you're going to try to raise money for that roof. Uh, you never forget your friends. I'm always happy to support the great family that you have here as part of the Malali community in Hamilton. I also want to say, although I'm no longer involved in partisan politics because um, mayors are nonpartisan, one of my friends is here today, so I should recognize her, Nikki Kaur. Uh, uh, she uh, is running in the Stony Creek. No, not Stony Creek. Yes, to the Stony Creek area, uh, and uh, I know she's eager to get to know the Mulally community as well. So if you get a chance, make sure you say hello to her. Hope everyone has a great evening, a celebration of the Mulally culture, uh, and thank you for inviting me.